Here's three things you need to stop wearing. Here's three style tricks that every skinny guy needs to know. First thing, Today I dove into the deep cave of fashion, specifically men's fashion. Before I get into anything, I feel like I should probably change my shirt. This just feels more classy. Now when I say I went on a deep dive, I literally just went on TikTok and watched a ton of videos. I'm gonna have to do a lot more research as I continue to make the video that you're watching right now. That being said, I highly recommend subscribing, turning on post notifications so you're notified every time I make a video because the entire point of this channel is to help you improve yourself. And I feel like I can do that in multiple different ways. So you're only missing out if you don't follow me. Make sure you like the video, like I said. So the first thing that I think is most important is one, finding your style. So what I did is I went and scrolled through TikTok. So after endlessly scrolling on TikTok, I found a few key points, and that is there are three main styles that are universally liked by everybody. The first one is streetwear. Streetwear is one of the three styles, and it's pretty much this grungy look that kind of looks almost homeless, but that's literally the entire point. Now let's go over the second one. Now you can pause this video and look at all of these styles to look through them, but the next one we're talking about is soft boy. I don't know why, but I see this literally everywhere. So soft boy is pretty much a like sweater type, very casual looking fit. But for some reason, like I said, I literally see it everywhere. So now on to the third one. This is the most universally liked one. Every single TikTok I scrolled through that was about style, I would say the vast majority of them were about this style. This style is old money. That's the name of it. This is a quick example of what it is, but let me play this video. So for whatever reason, that video was extremely short, but I feel like you guys get the point. The whole reason I went over these three styles is to get to the point that I think you guys should each choose your own style. Don't necessarily wear whatever's most popular just because it's popular. Wear whatever you think you'll look the best in. Anyway, that's going to conclude step number one of five. Pick your style. Personally, old money is my style. I get tan in the summer. I have long beachy hair. I literally always wear this beach necklace, and that's kind of what fits old money the best. You can wear whatever you want, like I said, but let's get into tip number two. Tip number two is using inspiration to find your style. Even if you're handcrafting your style completely alone, it's always good to take inspiration and figure out what you like without necessarily having to go out and wear the clothes yourself. And one of the best ways to do this, once again, is by going on TikTok. Now this is exactly what I mean. By watching that video, I found something that I could actually relate to and maybe make an outfit similar. So next time I'm buying clothes, I might buy a shirt similar to what he had or pants similar. It'll just depend. Another good way to find really good inspiration is by looking up Pinterest. Pinterest is literally a place to go for inspiration. As you can see, these are all outfits I could take inspiration from. In fact, I have a shirt that looks very similar to that. Let me put it on. Now this is a perfect example. I literally got instant inspiration from Pinterest and now I have a similar outfit but a different iteration and i made it my own he has the blue button up with the sleeves rolled up and the long khaki pants and i have the white with blue stripes with the khaki shorts see it's similar but different at the same time now the third and final way to take inspiration is just doing what already works what i mean by that and i think this is really cool is just look at this this guy is tan with a dark complexion brown hair brown eyes so he looks good in his outfit right chances are because i look kind of similar to this guy not necessarily in the face but with my complexion what he's wearing is gonna look good on me too and i mean if you look at me i'm already wearing a pretty similar outfit anyway anyway that's gonna finish it for tip number two finding your inspiration wherever that may be tip number three is finding clothes that match your undertone what this means is if you have brown hair and brown eyes wearing a tan or brown colored shirt might match you better than wearing some Things say purple same goes for people with blue eyes wearing blue colored clothes are gonna look better on you now undertone is a weird topic to talk about so let me show you a more like in-depth look at it to know exactly what you need to look for this is a simple diagram you can look at that talks about undertone to kind of give you a grasp on it a basic thing that you need to know is that the more dark and like saturated your skin is the more saturated darker colors you're gonna wear now that doesn't mean you always need to wear dark saturated colors but typically the darker colors are gonna go best with you if you're someone who's pale pastel colors are gonna match your your skin the best these colors are going to make your skin pop now it's more complex than that so looking at a simple graph like this is going to help you more than me explaining it so i recommend pausing and screenshotting this 
Here's another graph for reference. You can screenshot this if you want. The last thing I need to show you, these are the three main undertones and it's actually based on your vein color, which is not really expected. You can see there's cool, neutral, and warm. There are more colors for each one, cool, neutral, and warm. I just so happen to be a warm undertone. One of the few light colors that's gonna look really good on me is this kind of baby blue that's in the stripes of this shirt. So make sure you refer to those diagrams if you wanna wear things that complement your skin tone and undertone the best. So for tip number four, it's something that's somewhat unexpected, but your hairstyle. Just think about it, whatever you're wearing, your hairstyle is actually a part of that. So for me, like I said, I'm old money. I have like a beachy theme. You can tell by the necklace, you can tell by what I wear. So to match my hairstyle, I get my hair waved with a perm and I use salt spray to make it look like I was at the beach. This is linked in my bio if you want it, or you can look up cleancutcosmetics.com. It's my own brand. And people seem to love this salt spray. It adds texture and volume to your hair, and it's what I do to get that beachy look while I'm still at home. And it has vanilla essential oil that makes it smell really good. So I'm gonna add this right now and show you guys what it looks like. As you can see, it just adds that texture and volume that wasn't necessarily there before. And it gives me that beachy look, like I said. So refer back to steps one and two, find your style and then replicate it with your hair. And once again, you can look up on Pinterest or safari or wherever it may be to find your inspiration for what haircut you should use for your style. Last but certainly not least, tip number five is wearing clothes that actually fit you. As you can tell, this shirt fits me pretty well. It's not too big, it's not too small, and it kind of shows off my muscles. If I were to wear a shirt that was really baggy, it really hides all your muscle if you go to the gym. Some people like to wear oversized or baggy clothes. If you do that, you can still wear clothes that are your size. Just find one that's literally meant to be a baggy fit, and that will give you that look without wearing clothes that just dwarf you and make you look much smaller than you really are. Anyway, those are the five style tips for this video. There's honestly an endless number of style videos to make, so you'll probably see more from me in the future. I had to take my shirt off because I was literally dripping sweat. I'm so hot right now, I don't know why. And I have to eat this entire chicken for a whole separate video, so I'm not really looking forward to that. But anyway, thank you for watching this video all the way through. Make sure you like and subscribe. Once again, turn on post notifications so you can see whenever I post any new videos.